the first legislation I would put in, I would put in a, uh, uh, a resolution to amend the Constitution to have a representation in the House of Representatives as though we were a state. That was the Eisenhower proposal, part of the proposal that didn't get through in, uh, during his administration. And uh, secondly, I put in a, a, a bill to have a, a delegate uh, to the United States Senate which would uh, be able to serve on committees and introduce legislation, have all the basic uh, uh, authorities except voting uh, on the floor. And uh, maybe it could be restricted in other ways by rules of the Senate. But eventually, but essentially, we'd have a very strong voice and advocate over in the Senate, which we don't have now. And uh, when I ran against Eleanor Holmes Norton, as a I brought up the Senate delegate particularly and uh, urged her to introduce it, that she'd have a very good chance of getting that enacted. And uh, her argument was, well, if we get that, we'll never get senators. And uh, as I said, well, that's r very remote anyway. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a voice over there now? And uh, it, uh, but, but, but she was not, uh, not at all interested in that, in that approach. And uh, it, uh, I'd also introduce a, a, a bill to, uh, to, one, to have a committee uh, commissioned to look into the Home Rule Act. It's, it's coming up the 50th anniversary of the passage of the Home Rule Act. It's coming up to have a commission, a bipartisan commission, to look into uh, uh, changes in the Home Rule Act and also a commission to look into the whole voting representation issue, not only for the District of Columbia, but for the territories in Puerto Rico, for example. Uh, the, it's, it's interesting, the proposal that the Republicans have put in numerous times for a delegate to the uh, Senate has also included uh, a language for a delegate to the, uh, for the uh, Puerto Rico. And, uh, the idea being, well, Puerto Rico has a lot of, uh, does vote Republican often. The, Dem the District of Columbia often votes Democrat, of course. It would be a, a balancing act there with the, with the delegates, even though they don't have a vote on the floor. It would just be something that would be easier, more, more amenable to sell to both parties in the, in the Congress to, uh, to, to take that approach. Um, it, uh, she just isn't willing to look into other uh, incremental approaches to representation and expanding home rule. She has really locked into the uh, statehood proposal. I'm, I'm just hoping that uh, it's not uh, locked in for a whole another generation to work on what is basically an unconstitutional proposal. Many legal scholars have said if it ever would pass both houses of Congress and be signed by a president, the Supreme Court would probably uh, throw it out by, by a unanimous vote. And uh, it, uh, it, uh, I don't like to see people's civic time tied up in something that really doesn't have any uh, chance of immediate success or long-term success, perhaps. That uh, some of these more incremental approaches should be considered and uh, and the current delegate is just not interested in, uh, in looking at that uh, strategy for getting us uh, uh, more representation.